black churches are getting mad at me for saying it. But I'm going to say it anyway. Man, y'all check this out. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me give you some context. This is part one to a video I saw on TikTok as I was scrolling. I can only assume from the six minute clip that they were talking about wealth among the pastors. I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see this. Here's Bishop McClendon in part one. And I'm gonna tell you, Bishop Jones in part two, you don't wanna miss that. Run it. Yes. Now, it is absolute error to equate uh, gain with godliness. It is absolute error to say that a person who is wealthy is somehow more spiritual exactly. than a person who is not. That is wrong. Yes. It is error. It is erroneous. And yet, there is truth to the fact that one who governs their lives by the principle of scripture will be increased by God. Now, hold on before you say anything, because this is one of the things that I think is problematic. My concern is this, and with my beloved... Uh, 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 with my beloved uh, uh, Christians, my brothers, my sisters in Christ, when are we going to start believing God's word and not and stop believing the experiences yes, of men? Here's what Jesus said. Je Jesus said this: yeah, yeah, yeah. Seek ye first. That's what I'm talking about the kingdom of God Listen. and right. His righteousness, meaning yeah. being in right relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. and right standing with Him. Mm -hmm. How do you stay in right relationship and right standing with God? By the principles of His Word. God in His Word. So here's, here's what Jesus said. Jesus said this, your master, yeah. the one you say you follow. So, Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom? Kingdom. The Greek word is basilius. The rule, the realm, the royalty of God. Seek God's rule, God's dominion. Yeah. Seek the expansion of the territory over which he rules. The realm of a sovereign is the territory over which they rule. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And, 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 and being in right standing him. Now watch this. And all these things, things. will be added. Hold on. Give, give, me one, give me just one second, uh, Brother Dietrich. God said they would be added. He didn't say you would have to work for them. He didn't say that they would be a process of, of economic exchange. He said they would be added. What people don't understand that because they have not put the word of God to work is that many of the things that you have Bishop Bloomer and that you have received yes, Bishop Gibson yes, and that I have received yes. we didn't purchase these things we didn't buy them they were added to us many of the things were given and here's but, what but people I don't had, believe I my belly, here, here, here's what people well, well mine was given to me yeah, I wish so, so let me so let me say this so, 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 so let me say this so, so let me say this when God actually starts adding, see, the, the thing that people think is, well, he's using church money for that, or your tithe is going to that, or your offering is going to that. No, 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 no. I don't preach for a living. I grow faith for a living. Preaching is my vocation. Faith is my occupation. I am a grower of faith. I'm a sower of seed. I'm a planter. And see, what people don't understand is this is, preaching is not my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lifestyle. That's 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 what that's what I'm called to do. So what happens is, yes, do we earn uh, money? Yeah, the workman is worthy of his hire. Then, then what is then what is your job? But the error is, I have a, my, 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 I have a life. I, always, I say Thank it all the time. I don't okay. have a job. Right. I have a life. Okay. Have a life. Okay. Yes. Can, can I respond? Can I respond? Now, now I have a vocation, Bishop Jones. Can Bishop I, Jones. Can I respond? Yeah. First of all, listen. I do believe that there are some things that God will just add to us. Uh, that we didn't work for. Just like he did in the book of Joshua. He said, there are some land that I gave you that you did not labor for. Yeah, there are some cities I gave you and you dwell in that you did not build. And then he said, there are some vineyards that you're eating the fruit from that you did not plant. I gave you the land, the cities, the houses, and the, and the fruit. And you didn't work for none of it. There will be some things that God will give you just because you're his blessed ones. Just because you're his favorite. Yeah. But here's the deal. Part two, you don't want to miss, man, because Bishop Noel Jones is going to put a bow on this thing, make us understand. He's going to be so blatantly honest. Um, so check out part two when it drops tomorrow. God bless you. Do good. Be good. Why? Well, because God made you good. My name is Damon Redding. In Jesus' name, hit the follow, hit the share. I love you. Peace. Things the black church is going to get mad at me for saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Here's part two, Bishop Noel Jones.
Whenever we go to scriptures, we, we, we must stay within the context of the text. When he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added. Check the context. It was talking about food Close. and raiment. Yeah, the whole need of man. The Period. things you have need of. It was talking yeah. about what you have, you have need. Need, of. need of. That's right. Now, the truth is, brothers, and we need to just tell the truth. <coughs> there is nobody... Maybe Joel Osteen's father was rich enough to give him a start and he had Buku Bank. So he could start with Buku Bank. There is none of us who has started in ministry at 19, 20, 25, like I did, who did not need contributions from the saints to make our lives work. When I came along in Texas, they said to me, Pastor, please wear the best clothes you can to the meeting. Please wear the best car. Drive something nice. Now, Bishop, don't, you're not to, suggesting that you heard me say that. Don't go down. No, no, not okay, at all, okay, Matt. Right. Not at all. Yeah, okay. Not at all. I, I know, agree with I you. I know you inside. We heard you said these things were added. Yes. I am telling you. And we're going to stay there. I'm mm -hmm. telling you that none of us, I hear people talking now from ministerial perspectives of not needing donations right, 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 to right. operate their lifestyles. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the truth of that is mm -hmm. that any and every one of us who began as young pastors right. used, managed, administrated the donations of others. Mm -hmm. Now we're popular enough now to write books mm -hmm. and the books can take care of all of our needs. Mm -hmm. But somebody's money helped us to be on TV Absolutely. to make us popular enough now not to need donations. I put it in a short way. Is that for it, is the no, it is the donations that we have received that have put us in a place where now we don't need donations. And I don't think we should ever insult the people of God who spent their money supporting us and ever look back and treat them as if whatever they gave us was of no significance because it helped us to get to a place where we can stand and not need their donations. Amen. And I will say this in my conclusion. Jesus said to the woman who brought the two mites that she gave more than anybody else, but he didn't give it back to her. It's good. Dear man. And when you understand that, you understand we give spiritual things for you to give carnal things yes. is not that significant. But what we have, what most of us have, yeah. is what we chose to buy. Yes, yes. We didn't have to have it, we chose to buy it. An ode to the bishop. Let me do this. Let me take those off and let me put these on. Yeah. From now on, I'm going to call these my Bishop Noel Jones. Now, let's get into it. Now, he said three things that I really want to dive into because I thought they were really good. But I got to address this first thing. When talking about the scripture, things being added to us. He said, um, and Bishop Bloomer uh, agreed that they were talking about the necessities of life, right? Food and raiment. What do you need in your life being added to you? Uh, I can't tell people um, because I need clothes, I can't tell them where to go. I can't tell them what kind of clothes to be added to me. They can go down to the Goodwill and add, and add clothes to me, or they can go uh, to, to, to Saks Fifth Avenue and to Neiman Marcus and say, hey, I'm going to add these clothes to you. They can add some Levi's or they can add some Gucci. I, I can't tell them what to add. They can say, hey, man, you need food. Yeah, I sure do. Well, here's a man with sandwich. Be blessed. And I got to eat that man with sandwich. Here's some hamburger helper. Pray the Lord. Yeah. Or they can say, come on, man, I'm gonna take you to Prime. Yeah, I'm gonna take you, I'm, I'm gonna take you to Mr. Childs. Yeah. Things are going to be added, and we can't tell folks what to add to us. Now let me get into the good stuff. He talked about them being at a point in their lives now where they can write books and they can do all these things to make money and to, and to sustain their living and not to look down on the donations of others that got them to that point. 
so many pastors have reached the mountaintop, but forgot the people that got them there. Oh, they at the mountaintop right now. Oh, they can write the book. Oh, they can put some online. Oh, they can put it out there in the atmosphere and it'll sell millions. And they don't need our money now. They don't need our donations. But while they were going up on that mountain, they needed every dime. And I loved it when he said, we cannot forget the people and disrespect the people who gave to us when we needed them the most. But when you gain, now you act like you don't need the people no more. No, you always need us. Now is you can leave our church if you want to. You ain't got to give. We don't care about your money. Now that you not got all of it, sure. Pastors, don't ever forget the people that got you there. Point one. Then point two, he says, uh, the woman with the mite. She gave two mites and Jesus didn't give it back to her. She gave two mites and the Lord said, hey, she's given more than them all. Because they gave out of their abundance and she gave out of her need. Well, Jesus knew the spiritual principle in which she was operating in. Today's church will say, how dare you? How dare you give? You let that lady give all her money. You let that lady give all her money. The Bible says the less is blessed by the greater. Jesus is a form of Melchizedek. Abraham gave unto Melchizedek because Melchizedek was the was the blessed and he was the he was the greater. So Jesus understood the principle in which he was operating in. He didn't give that money back to her. He didn't say, nah, baby, you need it more than I do. No, nah, he received it. Hey man, that was point two. And then point three. He said which I thought was one of the most honest statements ever. We buy these things because we like them. We buy them because we want to. He went on to say, God didn't tell us to buy these things. We bought them because we wanted to buy them. Yeah, they buy Bentleys and planes and all that. Not because God told you to buy it. No, because they want to. They want to. They like nice stuff just like me and you. Here's the deal, pastors. Sometimes... That $100,000 vehicle, that $300,000 vehicle, maybe it might not be time to buy that. Maybe you want to think about breaking that $100,000 down, breaking that $300,000 down, and blessing your congregation with it. We don't mind you having nice things, but it is when your congregation is suffering and you know they're suffering, when you pull up in something nice, it's like adding insult to injury. Think about that. Love y'all, man. Do good. Be good. Why? Well, because God made you good. My name is Damon Redding. If this video was a blessing to you, hit the share button, hit the follow button. Until the next one, peace out. In the future, I would love this channel to be an over-the-top platform, getting a play button, of course, and reaching a wider audience. And my aim is to point people back to God because tomorrow is not promised to anyone. We are in the last and evil days. Let's keep our ears open. In conclusion, I need your help. Your seed is important whether you're new to this channel or not. Liking the next video that I upload on any platform underneath Catch My Praise Giving credit to where you get your sources also helps. Your generous gifts of any amount are welcome. Catch up is always open under Catch My Praise. Why am I doing this? Because it takes a lot to do a lot. Thank you for listening. Until then, believe it, reach it, catch it, here only on the Catch My Police Network.